Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. Uh, apologies for the lack of content over the last week or and a half or so. Uh, I was actually in a uh, slight wreck that totaled my car, and um, I've been dealing with some uh, consequences of that wreck, but we are back uh, vibing in the dorm. So, anyways, let's, uh, let's talk about really quickly the event that we got going on at that is due to Valentine's Day, which is awesome. Um, the Festival of Love, very well, um, a very good name, I guess, for the season. Now, this is going to be a two-week event, so this is not something that is going to be, like, over by, you know, February 14th, right? Because right now, I think it's, like, the 9th or 10th, maybe, um, or maybe it's even the 11th, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be quite a lengthy festival, um, so it should give us some things to do over the next couple of weeks, but I wanted to go ahead and just kind of go over like what, what to be, is to be expected of doing the festival, what kind of rewards you get, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so let's, let's go and get started. Now I will say I noticed that if you go to here, we actually have some like, I don't know, some quests basically. Um, and these will give you these little like quote unquote rose ores. Now these rose ores are gonna be used in the festival uh, to open up, you know, the basically uh, you know, gold, silver, and bronze, like, cups or whatever. And they will give you rewards that are similar to normal gold, bronze, and silver chests. Uh, though they do not have the sigils, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, I think that that would be great to have, but I'm not a developer, so I don't get a say. Uh, so, yeah, you know, pretty good rewards, though. You get, you know, the pile of XPs. You get some gems. You get some gold chests and stuff like that. So, basically, this is just free stuff, which is awesome. Uh, free stuff is awesome to get, but this is not the only thing, right? That's not the biggest thing that's coming from this event, but what actually is the biggest thing is this bad boy, Build-A-Bear. Now, I mean, I, I can't, you can't really say, like, it's bad A because it's, like, Build-A-Bear, but you know what I'm saying? It's kind of romantic, I guess. Uh, each milestone reward will gain, bring you closer to unlocking and upgrading the exclusive Legendary Festival Beast, Theodormus. Um, so we are going to be seeing that hopefully on this channel within the next couple of days uh, I'm gonna grind out those rewards and I will probably spend a little bit uh, just to get it for you guys so you can see but every milestone it looks like there's three maybe uh, we shall see if it is only three or if it's more uh, but in order to get to those milestones you have to open up these uh, chests right and you see a, 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 like down on the bottom of the screen there's like these little candles right so I opened up one gold already, and it gave me three. So I'm assuming if I open up a silver, it'll give me two, and if I open up bronze, it'll give me one. So obviously, you know, the golds will give you a little bit more. Now, if you think about it, if you think about, like, number-wise, 77 times three is what going to be, like, you know, 230-something, um, 233 maybe. So that is actually a better deal if you open up, you know, a gold instead of just opening up a bunch of bronze. So, you know, relatively speaking, like using, you know, the efficiency wise, it is better to open up golds. Now, let's, uh, let's just see real quick. I don't know. What, how many, sh how many should we do? Like 3000 gems? You know, what? let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, we're going to do this. That's stupid, but it's okay. All right. So we have 654 and we'll just open up a couple of these, see what we get. Um, you know, the gems, the gold chest, gold chest would be awesome to open up during the next PVP event, which would be Raid Wars, which will be coming up soon. Um, so let's see. All right. So we get pile of XP. So 6,000 XP, not terrible. I will have a video about that coming up here soon. But, ooh, okay. So you see, as you see in the bottom left of your screen, basically, you got three, three. Um, so, yeah, looks like that. And, you know, just a test. Let's see here. Open up a silver. 150, not bad. Going to give two. Yep. All right. And we'll open up one more. And 400 gems. Not bad. So out of what? I think we spent 3,000 gems or something like that. We get 400 back. Uh, I would say that's not worth it uh, to use gems, at least from the drops that I got, right? So we got, yeah, not, not really worth it. Um, but, you know, just so you guys can see it. Obviously, you get the legendary bear, which will be pretty awesome. But again, you don't have to spend gems in this event, right? You, you don't have to spend gems. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're want to grind out these, you know, different uh, quests, so to speak. And I do believe somebody said that they drop in normal attacks. I can't confirm that or deny it because I've not done it yet. I just want to put a video out just so you guys know I'm not dead or anything like that. 
But uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see how this goes. Um, but hopefully we will be getting content for this Build-A-Bear beast uh, fairly soon. But anyways, I will keep it to that for now. Uh, I will be posting more content here very shortly. But for now, have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.